Well, it's haunted house season in Las Vegas, and 13 Action News' Amy Abdelsied spoke to the father-son duo behind Freakling Brothers. It's one of the city's most recognized yearly attractions, and you're about to find out what they do in their real lives and how that translates into creating R-rated experiences so spooky. JT Molnar will be the first to tell you. It's not for everybody. He and his dad, Duke, are the duo behind Freakling Brothers Horror Shows. Kind of a, a local favorite. They've been making haunted attractions in Las Vegas for decades. My dad and, and my older brother started the company in 1992. And locals know Freakling Brothers is no joke. It's all about really realistic and disturbing content. Having something happen to you rather than watching a scene. What started as a prank to spook trick-or-treaters has evolved into one of the scariest Halloween attractions not only in Vegas but in the United States. States. A few years ago, all of a sudden we started getting getting recognized on these lists. USA Today ranked us number one in the country. CNN put us on their top five in the country list. Fox News put us on their top ten in the country list. Scare Zone ranked us number one in the western U.S. Top Haunts ranked us, ranked us top five in the world. Franklin Brothers has the only R-rated haunt in Nevada. We wanted to rate it R so people would understand that walking into it was the same experience as watching a hardcore, hard R rated our horror film. JT says it's a self-imposed rating, but if anyone knows a thing or two about creating an R-rated experience, it's him. A few years back that I ended up directing my first feature uh, called Outlaws and Angels. As a filmmaker, JT says a lot of what he does on set translates into creating these terrifying worlds that people step into every October. Enter the gates of hell! Doing this with the actors we have here at the Haunted Houses is, is very similar to directing a film. I mean, we consider it interactive theater more than a traditional haunted house. That's why we call ourselves Freakling Brothers Horror Shows. For each actor they hire, they write unique characters and scripts just like for a movie. When the season starts, we hold a casting session. Uh, we look at hundreds of people and we choose who the best 45 to 50 are and then I work with them. All of the characters are made by and for Freakling Brothers, so you won't find a generic Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger at their haunts. The people who come here take it very, very seriously, and we take it seriously. And although he's busy directing films and commercials in LA most of the year, JT says he blocks off two months every year to make sure he can come home and do this with his family. And uh, it's been really lucky though, I've, I've, I've been able to be here every season since I started managing an attraction for my dad back in 2003. So it's, it's a tradition every Halloween. A tradition his dad started more than 40 years ago. My name is Duke Molner. I am a Baccarat dealer at the Bellagio in real life. And I run Freakling Brothers haunted attractions uh, in my imaginary wonderful life. The business began in 1992 when Freakling Brothers introduced the city's first freestanding haunted attraction inside self-contained trailers. But before that, Duke's Haunted Empire was born at his home on Halloween night while the family was giving out candy to trick-or-treaters. One year, I decided to try and do something a little more intense. Uh, maybe scare some of the kids before we gave them some candy. He built a coffin and dressed up as Dracula. I had a stake in my chest. I told my wife, we're going to put the coffin in the entry hall. I'm going to be laying in it. And I want you to tell the children your treat is in the coffin on Dracula's chest. To go along with the scheme, he put candy on his chest like he was a prop. Well, sure enough, the kids started coming. Duke recalls chasing the kids around his neighborhood all night long. Even adults were stopping by to see what was going on. I remember chasing one lady a block and a half down our street before I came back. I don't think she, uh, she ever got over it. But it was an awful lot of fun for us. Word got around and Duke and his family became legends. Their house was the place to be every year on Halloween. And to this day, Duke says that's still what he loves the most about making haunted attractions. Listening to and seeing grown-ups come running down the exit, screaming the daylights out of themselves. I can't tell you what, a, what a, an exciting pleasure that is. And it keeps happening, so I'm going to be here a while. Last year, Freakling Brothers took a hiatus because of the pandemic, but they're back this year with three haunted attractions to explore. And they're doing something you haven't done before. We've transitioned into a, a horror park environment. This year, one ticket gets you in, and you can walk through the haunted houses as many times as you'd like. COVID protocols are in place, and everyone, including the actors, are required to wear masks. If you don't have one, JT says they'll give you one for free. Make sure to visit KTV.com for ticket information. 
For How To Vegas, I'm Amy Abdelsayed.